Hey everyone, so in today's makeup video I created this look. I completely forgot about St. Patrick's um, day makeup. So here we are with a green look. I haven't done a green eye look on my channel so here is the final creation and I hope you enjoy the video and if you want to see how you can get this look then just keep on watching. Uh, I just look so tired. I think it's because my eyelashes are all coming out. I genuinely think it's because of that. I'm just using my usual Shishido and Golden 4. I'm just pressing it into my skin to get more coverage in certain areas because I have broken out like crazy. I don't know why. Um, I think it's actually because I used... I used the Nip and Fab moisturiser and it's the one with the retinol in it and I actually think that I kind of overuse it like you're supposed to use it three times a week and I don't know like sometimes I obviously forget how much I use that product and I think it just broke me out I'm just gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty in 180 so it's like this I have been loving loving this I love the applicator as well. It's just so s soft and smooth. Boop, boop and boop. But then I didn't get the right colour for me. Like I like a real highlighted finish. So I kind of go back in with what's left of, I know this is still going ahead. Oh, can you see the difference? It's really light. But I still kind of go in with the Morphe C155 just to brighten it up that bit more. So I was thinking of just going and getting another colour, lighter colour. This is a lot of concealer I know but sometimes you just need to when you need to get the right colour you do tend to have to mix and that's what I did. But I don't mind, I don't know what it is, I don't mind get putting on like a lot of foundation or concealer when I'm doing a real dramatic full glam. I don't know why, I just think it just looks better. I just did my get ready kind of update video there last the last video there but when I was editing I was like oh my god I'm actually just so tired in this I don't normally film in the morning time I always film in the evening time I just like to get things I just like to get things done during the day especially if I'm doing like dramatic makeup so I tend to do the makeup videos in the evening time and as well it's like less kind of interruptions as well when I do the videos like no one comes for the post or my dogs aren't constantly trying to cry at me to go out or on a walk can't say the word when they're around them so because it was a get ready obviously that was in the daytime I was getting ready to go just do normal stuff and I just realized how much I was not awake for that video <laughs> I just seemed like really like tired and I look I looked depressed <laughs> but I promise you it was just because it was first thing in the morning and well now when I say first thing in the morning it was probably like 12 o'clock in the day or something but I know <laughs> but anyways yeah I just was editing and I was like oh my god I look so tired and wrecked, so I apologise for that now. I'm trying to seem more upbeat when I'm tired, I just seem like I'm down. I'm not really a morning person to be to be honest. Like I'm not a crank in the morning, I'm just like not like one of them people well actually <laughs> what are people might think might say different. Um like when before this all happened with the whole like not being able to work and all 
I used to have to get up really early, like, to do um, weddings. And... Like, I'm one of them people that when the alarm goes off in the first go, I'll just jump up. Like, I don't really snooze. But now it's just like, that. that's all gone out the window. You know, even if I, if I have to do something at, like, 11 or 12, I, I'd be wrecked. And, like, I'd have to get up at 5 in the morning when I'm doing, you know, them weddings, them wedding call out. I just use my big brush here because I'm going to see the way it's not... As I would say, snatched. Like I said, I love going in with the Kaylee one. The SK6 little brush. And then I just snatch it then with this one. So I really kind of just start at the end. And I just find that that just gives me a better... finish to what I want which is like a thinner at the tip because it's really just the tip I want slim down like so and then when you go in with the highlighter it makes all the difference again oh shit. like sure and then I can just jump in with the eyes I'm not I'll just throw on blusher for the sake of blusher, but I really don't really, I really don't wear blusher. I'm going to go in with this peachy kind of tone. So, um, what am I doing? I kind of wanted to do a green look for today because I didn't do one for Patrick's Day, which was really, really strange. I don't know what happened. I completely just forgot about Patrick's Day. I know that's terrible, but... I'm going to make up for it for today and I'm going to go in with the Carnival palette. Doo, doo, doo. And I'm just going to go on the, this side here. So the first colour I'm going to use is going to be a forest colour which is this dark green. And I'm going to go in with one of them pencil brushes like I always do. Dip, 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 dip. And I'm going to start to carve out the shape that I want. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing. Uh, Look-wise, I mean. I just woke up and I was like, I want to do green. Because I haven't really done green, have I? I'm trying to think, have I done? Right, so it should look like this it doesn't matter if it's messy on any we just want a nice dome shape up here more so and then drag this color underneath the lash line what we do look at the bags under my eyes oh holy jesus any suggestions on how to get rid of that like i get enough sleep i just i don't know what the story is i feel like i'm just tired all the time for no reason Maybe it's the food I eat. <laughs> Maybe it is the food that I eat. Wow. Okay, so once you have this circle, <laughs> just kind of start to soften it with uh, this pencil brush, which is Zoeva 223. I'm going to go in with top, no, Tropics. Tropics, little one, Tropics. Yeah, I'm going to go in with Tropics. So it's like this green here. Tap, 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 tap. This is just going to help to soften the edges. So just kind of go very light-handed. Um, I'm not going to do like a Paddy's theme as in to use the orange as well. And white. I just want to do a green look. And then I'm going to just start to flick this out just a little bit. Now, I'll probably take this off today because this is going to be severely dramatic. I can just feel it's going to be one of them looks that you're not going to be able to go out at all. It's going to be too dramatic. <laughs> and then I'm just going 
just going to slightly soften here. Get that colour running through. Okay, and then for the main colour, I just really wanted to use this colour. It's called Key Lime and it's this really, really vibrant colour in the palette. Absolutely love. I'm going to just get a nice big fluffy brush. What's this? Uh, Zoeva 228 and it's a big fluffy brush because this is going to help me diffuse the corners right here this is such a, a beautiful colour And as you can see, I kind of didn't do my brows there because it gets kind of covered in eyeshadow. So I have to just go over it and comb it out as well. So it's just best to kind of leave that last. And then I'm going to get a smaller brush just for... So this is the Zoeva. It's another pencil brush, brush 230 going in with key line again and I'm just going to go underneath here because that brush is way too fluffy for under there and I want it just to be more precisely ooh, I'm just going to get my placed by using this brush actually just kind of go over here perfect I just want to go here, just means this is kind of faded out way too much. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do is I want to cut the crease. And what am I going to use? Right, so I'm going to use this brush, my trusty flat brush, trusty Vaseline. Dip, dip, dip. And then I'm going to cut the crease. So we're going for a nice dome shape this time. Oh, I forgot to... I always say to bring tissue and then I forget my tissue. Organisation peoples! No effing tissue. No, it's not going to work. I need to get tissue so I'll be BRB. Vaseline could not be good for your false lashes, by the way. So that's fun for me. Well, I have to get them redone in anyways. Okay, so once you're finished doing that, I'm going to then just put back on a base, which I like to use a nice white base. So that my colours that I lay on top are going to be nice and vibrant. So just get a white foundation or whatever base that you have and I'm just going to do like a bump, bump, just get that on there, get her on. Then flat brush. And paint the whole lid white. Remember to move your brush to make it easier for you to get in them small places. Okay. Get a little bit more. See? You can colour it all in now. So I'm going to colour it in the dark or the middle green, the tropics first. So I like to use the same brush that I used. And then I'm going to go into tropics. And I'm going to go in the inner corner here and the outer corner. It's going to be an ombre finish. Like so. And then in here. Okay. 
And then in the center, I'm going to go in with a flat brush, my Inglot number 25, is it? Ooh, 24. I'm going to use this. Inglot now, 24. And I'm basically going to place this all in the center of my lid. Oh, that colour is just so pretty, isn't it? Now, I'm going to do some gel liner on top just to really finish the look. I'm going to go in with my... Everybody probably thinks I don't own a gel liner, but I just find this so much better on my lashes. So I just use that then, the eyeshadow and then the black eyeshadow and then some Fix Plus. And this is just going to really define the eye shape. Just kind of like leave it in a slight slant going up so it's not just cut like a round circle. And then I'm going to, I will put some black liner on the waterline there. I'm going to use my NYX and then mascara. I always hate doing mascara because I'm always afraid to ruin it. Look at when you have no brows, the difference. Okay, so normally if I didn't have mink lashes, I would obviously stick some false ones on. Big, massive ones. They just go with these kind of looks. But there you have it. That's the eye complete. Should we put a little highlight moment in the beginning? Hmm. Do you think we should put one like here? Yeah, I think so. I'm just going to use that same mint green and pop it in the center here. Yeah. Fab. Just makes such a difference, doesn't it? And now to do the other eye. So, be right back. <laughs> Okay, so I just went in with my Gimme Brow on my brows just to calm through. I didn't want anything too, like, harsh. And now I'm going to go in with lips. I'm going to go in with Exposed by Kylie Jenner. Absolutely love. This is a matte lipstick. I used it in my last video and it was actually so nice. So I'm going to stick to this one. I'm not going to put any lip liner. And then I'm going to go in the center of my lips with my MAC again, Honey Love. I just like this com combo, so here we are. I just like to let that dry so that it doesn't muddle together. Thinking, will I or will I not do highlighter? So, I don't know, I'll just do a slight highlighter actually I just like to go down the the main parts I love to go down is my nose so I'm going to get my SK07 and my Elt Cosmetics or and then just go down the nose just a little bit I don't want to be too with these eyes I'm already too much so see it just kind of like finishes the look and then I'm not gonna wet my face, I know. With Fix Plus, I'm just and I'm just gonna go right here. Like I said, I don't want too much on the face. I'm after doing loads on the eyes. So just a slight pop of highlight just here and down the nose. Perfect. I'm happy with that. So this is the final look. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I just knew that I wanted to do a dramatic look and a green look. So here is the finished result. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye.